Hello everyone, my name is Uthers and welcome back to Banished. It has been quite a while since we have played this game and we are kind of getting back into it. I feel like uh, without Timber and Stone, the channel is kind of missing something. It's just missing something at heart, so we're going to be doing something that's not Timber and Stone, but similar in essence. Uh, so this is Banished. It's made by a single person who founded Shining Rock Software a few years ago, it published it himself through Steam, things like that. Uh, since then, it's basically the bonding community keeping this thing going. We are using mods, as you can maybe tell from the music itself. It's very kind of colonial and upbeat, and that's because we are using Colonial Charter New Frontier, which is a complete gameplay expansion. Uh, we're using Flux Capacitor, which makes our villagers live more realistic life expectancies and, and stages. We have uh, better fishing, more ore, more stone, more wood, and that'll just basically help us get off the ground. Uh, what, last time I played Banished, it was, it was a little rough, and it's definitely not going to be any more smooth this time around. So we're going to go ahead and start a new save. I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and generate a map seed. And by generate, I mean spam on the keyboard a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we'll pick a cool place to be. Valleys and mountains are the default maps. But I don't want to do the default maps. I kind of like the name Verdant Plain, so I hope that looks cool. Uh, we're going to use colonial charter size of a very large map. We're going to go, which is a normal harsh climate, because I don't know how much harder the colonial charter's version is. For a town name, uh, there's no real seas or anything in this nature for, for like, banished, unlike, say, timber and stone. So, instead of Freeport, we're going to have to name something that sounds a little bit more like, like a river. So... Let's do Stead Flow. Yeah, Stead Flow. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go from here, hop into the loading screen. They have kind of their, their own custom loading screens for Colonial Charter, and hopefully this doesn't take too long. Go ahead and read this for you guys. Your country has rested all of their colonial ambitions on your venture. Your job is to ensure the survival of your country's citizens. So, obviously... Uh, we're claiming this land for Spain. We're full on claiming this shit for Spain. And, uh, you know, Columbus Day was Monday. So, I guess in celebration for that, this is where we are. So, we have a decent amount of villagers. I'm kind of surprised at that. Um, there's a whole lot of buildings to get through and everything. But let's go ahead and bring up the options to start out with and I am going to change some sound settings just just because that music felt a little too loud uh, we're going to bring up our menus there we go and set this all up for you guys so everything uh, will be nice and visible there we go there we go and there we go so stead flow here is well we're by a stream but it looks like based on the map we have a fairly good sized a decent river with a few lakes even just a, a plain lake up there but we have a few to choose from and it looks like verdant plains uh, are fairly flat which is great uh, flatter the better for banished so let's see we have a few bit of items not a whole lot of course um, but the first thing I want to do is actually just uh, remove resources in the general area this will one keep people busy this will hopefully bring in some food as well as you can see it's, it's gonna harvest some wild berries and things in the area so we'll we'll just put it on normal speed for now actually times two and these guys will go about doing what they need to do at this point we have 500 luxuries that's pretty cool what's luxuries do uh, 
Uh, ale, wine, pipe tobacco, and so on. Interesting. I guess we actually don't have any. These are just resource limits. So I'm going to swap these down to here. There we go. This is our current, current items. We have eight adults, zero students, and ten children. So we're, we're in for the long haul. Now the storage cart's gonna do us for basic storage. And I don't know why there are ducks just kind of floating in the air, but that just might be a glitch. And why is it every time I go to record something, it starts raining? It just starts raining every time. I, I, I will never understand. Uh, we need to build some stockpiles. So let's go ahead and get that going. All right. Now, just just to do a quick run through, this is how many housing there are. You know, uh, there's eleven, eleven different housing options, from like town lodging, which looks very colonial. Uh, officers townhomes, so they got row houses, which are pretty cool. Kind of more, uh, mm, what is this called? Just a large residence, town abode, country homes, the default stone, uh, salt box house, that's very interesting. A wooden house, and we have log cabins, of course, which is probably what we're gonna start with, or maybe tiny shacks. Let's see, it's early spring, so I don't think I have to worry about housing just yet. We're going to get probably our first real storage barn up, though, because I like to build these and build basic villages around these things. So, and it will allow us to hold a lot more materials. So we're going to go ahead and plop that down, and we'll also construct some roads. Many, many more road options. You can build a drawbridge. You can build stone bridges, brick build bridges, uh, creaky plank bridges. I guess for creeks and things, just planks laying on top of each other. Uh, you got stone and wooden bridges, wooden bridges, brick roads, a different type of brick roads, mossy roads, stone roads, dirt roads. I mean, this, this is going to get pretty ridiculous pretty quick and we're also gonna get some stockpiles yeah, we'll, we'll just use regular stockpiles for this for now why'd you guys stop oh I accidentally hit space space bar is the quick pause button by the way if you guys are new to Banished. And you guys feel like you're going too slow, so we'll just go times five. There we go. So, next thing, beside a kind of a larger storage place, most important is probably some raw food gathering. Gatherers huts always do very well in this sense. And we can pretty much line this up directly to this barn. But, I think I want it on the back side. That might be cool. And we're gonna assign one adult to a builder. And laborers, laborers, what they do is they go around, they harvest these resources that we've marked. They'll take resources and clear out areas where construction needs to be done. They will bring the resources over to the construction yard and things like that. Okay. We have our first builder kind of going around building a road, walking on roads. Generally, you know, faster movement speed for your civilians. I'm trying to increase priority over here because I, I need this stuff to get set up. 
because you can't use this storage cart forever by any means. Our food supply will start going down rather quickly. And it's already raining again. That's okay. To show you guys, though, there is an option in Colonial Charter to see all the resources and what profession handles them. And I'm just going to scroll through these. There's too many to just outright name right now. Um, but you guys can see it, it just goes on and 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 on. It, it's a whole lot to manage. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this back down to two times normal speed. The gatherer's hut is being built, which is great. This thing is starting to develop. We can also... Uh, do I want to do tiny shacks or skip that completely and go straight to log cabins? I'm thinking log cabins. Log cabins might look the coolest to kind of start out with. And I'll be very happy once we have kind of the the first home is built, things like that. Because if these guys start to get cold, we're going to run into problems. We do have firewood, but they need homes for the firewood to actually do anything. Turn this back up to five times speed. Assign a second builder just so things kind of get moving even faster for us. This first episode is very... Very up in the air. I want two gatherers at all times for food. New storage barn is going up. Which is great. It's a barn raising event going on right now, fellas. Let's see here. Now, I will be probably expanding down this direction to do kind of a Main Street Avenue thing. We'll do some raw resources out here, like foresters' huts, hunters' lodges, and things. But we'll get the town going towards this way, towards the stream, I guess. And this is just the beginning town. You know, we don't have to try and make this thing look all high-tech and really nice looking. This is just so we can... We have a safe set of population to work out from. And that's very important when you're doing Banished. Have I said Timber and Stone a lot? Have I been calling this Timber and... I don't know. Uh, but in Banished, you know, it's very important to keep a core set alive for sure. Alright, so we have our first home. Four people can live in each home, I believe. And, you know, these log cabins are fairly nice looking. I think, you know, most modded items kind of look a little thrown together. And there are still some items in Colonial Charter that are a little weird. But I think that has gotten straightened out for the most part. And then what I can do now is actually remove this storage cart because we don't need it. We have a storage barn now. And I believe it is removed structures. It's right there. Now, this is going to freak our people out. It's going to freak them out big time. Because they're going to instantly think they're out of supplies. So, let's increase our priority here. Pretty high. Speed up time because they're going to take everything out of the storage cart and put it into the new storage barn. And then once that's done, they'll just remove part all together so they got food in there they got uh, some basic things going so let's go ahead and get a forester's lodge uh, we'll put it back to back to the gatherer's hut oh they added a more colonial in fact I kind of want that more that looks way, way cooler than what we were about to do. They obviously added some variation without telling me. Okay. Okay, that looks that looks pretty nice. Let's see, we can get rid of one builder, toss some people around, and then we will also need production for let's see, where is it? Oh my goodness, there's so many items that I don't know what woodcutter. There we go. Chopper, a small, less 
formal area wood choppering is done. You know, maybe to save some room, we could just have a chopper. I think that would look fine, to be honest. That's not a bad idea. Go ahead and expand our dirt roads up here. We're gonna need a whole lot more firewood at some point. I have a feeling that winter is gonna be pretty intense. The amount of rain that we're getting right now uh, is not really boding well for us. I feel like the future is gonna be like that. And these things do move. They move, look at them. He's moving about half the speed of smell, but the duck does move. Okay, good. Wow. That's, that's a slow-moving duck. I don't even know if they can be hunted. Which, it looks like our food supply is kind of breaking even right now. They are gathering a good amount of food, though. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see how... We'll, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Food is always one of the most important things. For sure. Transparent fields. We got food refining. We got a small windmill we can place. I'm just kind of going, gonna go ahead and show off some more buildings. We got a large windmill. Looks pretty proper. We have a dairy farm, bakery. That looks pretty good. Preservist. I don't know what they do or what the point is for that. We got crop fields, butchery stalls, llama butcher. I don't want to kill llamas, that's rude. Horse butcher? I can sell horse meat? Well, I mean, why not, I guess. Tidal pool, very interesting. Hunting blind, that might be cool to set up out here, maybe. Do, what do I have to do to place it? Let's hover over it. Water's edge to disguise. Oh, they they hunt ducks and other waterfowl. Okay, that's kind of cool. So instead of just fishing, you can do that. I can set that up on the streams at some point. There's also a wharf, uh, and I can show that off on a lake probably. It might look a little bit better. It actually has a ship on it. And I believe they go whaling, whale blubber. Yeah, they go to the high seas. In which case, the high seas is this lake. Not much I can do about that. And we're already like 18 minutes in through this episode. I need more homes. So how about just some more log cabins here. It's hard to find the front end to some of them. I'm glad they do have variations like the normal homes, though. Okay, we're completely out of firewood. That's no good. I'm gonna pop in another builder or so. We're gonna increase the priority for all of these structures right over here. We need to drop off resources. Now, sometimes the AA is not the smartest and it's just something you have to work with. Especially in this game here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not something I wanted to see. It's already late autumn. Okay, you guys need to get this copper up and running. And I need to get firewood. Because if they start getting cold and freezing and dying, we're in trouble. Come on, get, get that built. Get that built. We don't got time. We are out of food. How are we out of food? People are cold. We're losing. We're losing already. See? How have you guys ate so much food? So 
Uh, this place has no firewood. Storage for logs and things are near capacity. That's fine. Food supply is definitely bad. Come on, chop those logs. We, we need to keep people warm. It's gonna be our first winter. It's gonna be rough. No one's starving just yet. Our food is kind of coming back. Oh boy, this is, this is no good. Yes, I know, everything's near capacity. That's just, you know, kind of what we're stuck with, folks. Reserve food is low, yes. Yes, it is. We have no homeless people, so that's that's good. Come on, guy. Keep everyone warm. You're the only woodcutter in this whole town. He's actually fairly efficient at this by himself. And I'm glad it doesn't take out much room either. Food's kind of coming back, which is good. No new people, so we, we really need to sort out the food situation. I might try and get people hunting. That is probably for the best. So, let's see. Butchery stalls, no. This is food production, but I'm not seeing... Ah, there's the hunting cabin. Okay. And we'll just increase the priority of this as well. Yes, I know, reserved firewood is low. It is late winter, we have survived the first year of Banished. That house is a little chilly. But they can they can go to other houses to warm up. As long as they're, you know, within range. Everyone's friends here, you know, we all share the heat. And our one wood chopper is really going at it. And I mean, full on ham. Let's, let's get that built. And then I'll drop two out of the gatherer's hut. Even though the gatherer's hut, very efficient at food. I'll drop one and put one as a hunter. And I, I just, just to test to see. Actually, no, I'll drop one out of the gatherers and put one in the foresters and only plant. Um, we have enough wood at the moment, so I'm not really worried about, you know, him harvesting things. But since we deforested the area, the problem is the fact that things like, like herbs or, or things the gatherers hut needs to harvest grow better in a forested area so we need to replant the forest that is a priority so the gatherers can act a little bit more efficiently and then at some point of course we are going to need a uh, oh what was an herbalist things like that again we don't have many people so it's gonna be a struggle we did just gain one adult which is good i'm gonna up all the stores to 2000 just so things can shut up that'd be great just add a zero on everything we're never gonna reach max stores on anything anyways there we go so there's the hunting lodge the hunting lodge is built and it's raining again. I didn't know we were gonna be living in the tropics, but that's okay. We're a colony somewhere. Maybe we'll grow tobacco. Anyways, I think this has been a rather successful first end game year. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more gaming goodness. Go ahead and check out my other things that are a little bit more creative, such as Medieval Engineers, Timber and Stone, doing Minecraft now. Go ahead and leave a comment, like, dislike, tell me what you guys think, and I wish it would just stop raining.
to stop raining. That's all I want. Whether in this or a tarot farmer craft, please. Just no more rain. 